This is a, a rig created for a panel that isn't uh, quite symmetrical. If I, if I look at the top here, you can see that there are certain parts of the panel that are offset by one foot. So the panel itself is uh, eight feet by four feet. There's a, a parameter that I'm using in here that is the, uh, this offset length is length divided by four. And I've got a question in as to why I'm always getting these values off by a... I'm actually just thinking I might have figured that out myself. Let me look under uh, project units. There might be a... ah, I wonder if that's it. That might actually be the solution to the problem that I'd seen. Still off by one thirty second. So I guess that's not it. Let me just check that again. Rounding feet and inches. What if I put it to the very bottom? Well, you know, I'm still seeing a, a rounding of a thirty second that I don't understand. Anyway, um, just looking at the model here, the, the way that I kind of put it together was I was able to go and say insert, import CAD, I'll go to the class folder, uh, not the, sorry, the class folder, and looking for uh, SketchUp files. This was the rig that I'd gotten from Thomas Shorey. So if I, uh, I were to grab that, I'm just using the arrow keys to, to move it back a bit. Um, you could conceptualize what the rig would look like, but of course you can't give it any kind of behavior where it adapts. Whereas in the model here, what I'm able to do is using these adaptive points, you see if I drag it down, the, the relationships that are built into the, the panel itself are maintained. Um, so I can test those four adaptive points at the corner of my panel and make sure that they are adjusting to any point, even on a curved surface, uh, but I'm still getting relationships that I want elsewhere in the model. So the kind of thing that I had to do here was I created this point on here, I offset it up by the distance of the rig, and then I uh, I created a I, I used the plane that's on here. If I go to uh, normal and always like that, and I placed that point on here, but offset it by the parameter that I just I called it. Um, I think I called it outlier. So where it's got an offset distance here, what I did was I said I've got a parameter called outlier, and outlier is. Um, I, I just set it minus two feet, so it's two feet back. I should also have set that to be um, length divided by four. And there's the same mistake, or same, same issue that I was seeing before. I think the actual value is correct, but I think somehow I've got to... It's obviously the units that's changing the accuracy of this, but I need to find out why I'm not getting a 100% accuracy. Okay, so there's my, there's my model. Oops, what did I just do? So that there was my Outlier, outlier. Length divided by four. Let's see if that takes it. Oh, it was minus length divided by four. That's what it was. So minus, cause, because of the... That should do it. <coughs> and that's it out there. Okay, so I haven't put any 
I'll just delete that, but that was useful to me in, in understanding where I could connect all of my lines here. I'm keeping it light, and what I'm going to do is just make a new project quickly, just to, sh to check how, it, how uh, adaptive it actually is. Um, so, what I could do, actually, let me do it in a family, that would be better. New, conceptual mass, mass. I'll draw a complex looking polyline uh, or spline and then I'll say create me a solid form from that. I'll pattern this form by dividing the surface and I don't really need to change the values but just because I know it's 8 feet by so what, by um, feet I'll put the values in so let's say eight feet and fixed this and fixed distance four feet apply it's going to be centered on the, the model here but now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to control tab back to my back to my family with the rig load into project and it's this it's this one here called family one and now if I look under the pattern for the rectangle which is where I created this Thomas's rig oops and I think I can I didn't pick the Thomas I picked uh, right, there we go so now I should see the geometry come in here and I can see if I get any error messages and whether it actually conforms to the shape that I've got so there it is and it's a thing of beauty I just need to go and uh, find out exactly where the surfaces are in the model but you can see that it's it's uh, adapting to whatever shape that I've got here one, one other thing is I can turn off if the surface if I said don't show partial but show empty that means that if there's any partial panels at the end it'll just omit them so that that now what I'm seeing is is complete uh, complete panels so that's that's enough to confirm that it actually works the way that I think the panel is going to work